comes in the mail. So maybe we'll come today. Oh, I hope it comes today. What's in it, Mia? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a horse. Horses are kind of big to be delivered by mail, Mia. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a pony. <gasps> I think it's the mail truck. Uh, it's not the mail truck? No. <sighs> Is that the mail truck? Nope. It's the recycling truck. Oh, I don't think the mail truck is ever going to get here. I know how you feel. One time I ordered a book about the rainforest. It felt like it took forever to get it. Yeah. I wish time would hurry up. We should go on an adventure. Maybe your package will be here when we get back. An adventure? Yeah. A mail carrier adventure in fairy tale land. I bet they deliver a lot of great stuff there. Yes! Let's do it, Kobe. But first, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Can't go to fairy tale land without my tiara. <laughs> cool. some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be them get down from walls. Oh, and these bowls are for the three bears, for their porridge. <sighs> wow, someone must really be looking forward to getting that. It's for Fairy Godmother, Kobe. <gasps> it even has a wand. Wow. Here's a map for our deliveries, Mia. We'll start here, at the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Um, do we have to deliver there first? It's the closest place. And I bet the Fairy Godmother really wants her new outfit. Yeah, but don't you think Humpty really wants his ladder? I mean, he's stuck on a wall. He could have a great fall. You might be right, Mia. Okay, let's deliver there first. Great. I'll ride back here. And make sure nothing gets broken. Okay. Oh, I wish we never had to deliver you. I wish I could just look at you forever. <sighs> We're here! Oh. Mm. I'll be right back. Princess Mia, how lovely to see you. Huh, thanks. We're delivering your new ladder. But how did you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I was picking apples with my friend the giant. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Oh. Hi, giant! Hello! That's the giant up there. <clears throat> he accidentally grabbed my ladder a little too tightly. Oopsie. But can't he just pick you up and lift you down? Scientific fact, eggs crack when they're squeezed too tightly. <sighs> this will help you get down. <gasps> yeah. Thank you! You're welcome! 
them. Goodbye. Bye. See you soon, I hope. Next stop, Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Just around the corner. No, not yet. I just want to keep you here with me a little bit longer. Wait! Let's deliver to the Three Bears next instead. But the cottage is closer, Mia. And the fairy godmother probably wishes we would hurry. Just like you wished the mail truck would hurry with your package. Yeah, but it's almost lunchtime. And the bears are getting new bowls for their porridge. And Papa Bear gets very grumpy when he has to wait for his lunch. And no one likes a grumpy bear. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's deliver to the bear family next. Yay! They're special temperature-controlled bowls. Your porridge will never be too hot or too cold again. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you order four bowls? There are only three of you. Hello? Bears? Yeah, it's me, Goldilocks. Got any porridge? That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mia, now it's on to the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. It's getting kind of late, Kobe. Maybe we should deliver the Fairy Godmother's outfit tomorrow. I know you love this Fairy Godmother's outfit, but she is going to love it too. Think of how you feel, waiting for your package from your aunt, and how excited you're gonna be when it finally arrives. It will be amazing. I bet that's how Fairy Godmother feels too. Oh, I never thought of it like that. She's probably feeling the same as me right now. When you're deciding what to do, try to think if that was you, would it feel good or feel bad? Make you happy or feel sad? That's empathy. Remember how it feels. How she feels too. I bet for her, it's hard to wait. Just like me, and that's not great. We should hurry to her place, put a smile upon her face. That's empathy. Remember how it feels. That makes my heart sparkle. I thought it would never get here. It would have been here sooner, but I was having a hard time letting it go. That's okay. I know how you must have felt. Of course, because you have empathy. Well, I also have a wand. Shall I test it out? Oh, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please! <laughs> Digga, digga, do! Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Yeah! Hi, guys, we're back! Hello! Mia! Mail carrier Ethan was just here! He delivered your package! Hooray! Cool! Uh, thank you! Bye bye Mia, hurry and open it! Let's see! Yeah! Oh, what is it? <gasps> Homemade chocolate chip cookies! Ooh! Zigga digga doo! And there's enough to share. Cool!
cool. Yummy. But first, I always feel good when someone says thank you. So, I'm going to make my aunt a thank you card. Hey, let's all make cards while we're eating the cookies. Yeah! Great idea, Eddie. Woohoo! Look at me! I'm in first place! Oh, no! Over. And your ship landed on my rowboat, Mia. Sorry, Colby, but Tessa bumped into it. Sorry, Mia, but a speedboat needs lots of room so it can go really fast. Maybe we should find a ship that we can all play with together. Great idea, Sophie. We can play with... My rowboat, my speedboat. Those are too small. We should play with my big sailing ship. Your sailing ship is big, Mia but I was thinking we could play on a really big ship, on a sailing ship adventure. Okay, yeah! Awesome! Have a fun trip! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Nothing better than sailing a big ship on the open sea. Whee! And since Eddie isn't here, I'll be the captain today. <laughs> Actually, I think Eddie wanted me to be captain today. Did Eddie really say that, Mia? Well, not exactly. But he always lets me be captain sometimes. Mia! should do. ship back onto the ocean. But how? And where did Tessa go? I'm up here! I know how to get us off this island and back to sea! I just need to raise the sail so the wind can push it! Uh. 
Looks like you need help, Tessa. No thanks. Captain Tessa can do it by her. did need a little help. We have to find a way to get our ship back in the water. Yeah, I do not want to be here when it starts to get dark. Me neither. A pretend fire won't give us very much light. At least we have all these delicious marshmallows to eat. Those aren't marshmallows, Mia. They're coconuts. They're pretend marshmallows. I'm going to roast my pretend marshmallow over our pretend fire. Okay. I just wish I was pretend hungry. <sighs> what was that? Huh? Whoa. Ah! Scientific fact. Things that roll are easier to move. Okay, but what are you going to do with those logs? I'm going to put the logs under our ship and roll it back out to sea. And then Captain Kobe will sail us back home. So, how are you going to get the logs under the ship, Captain Kobe? Oh, I didn't think about that. <sighs> May I have a pretend marshmallow, please? I can do this! Do you want some help, Mia? Uh, nope! I got this! As captain, I command you to move back into the water! I guess I'm just not strong enough to move it. And I'm not strong enough to get the logs underneath it, so it could roll. And I wasn't strong enough to keep the sail up so the wind could push it out to sea. None of us can make the ship move by ourselves, but maybe we can make the ship move together. Okay. How? Well, if we all work together, we can try to push the ship onto Kobe's logs. Then we could all raise the sail and the wind might be strong enough to help roll the ship back out to sea. Let's do it! Yes! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. charge of the best crew ever. Because we all work really well together as a team. All Yay! right! All hands on deck. OK. Let's do it. Yeah! Eddie, 
Jack! You guys missed a really fun adventure. We landed on a desert island! And an elephant even gave us a push home. Sounds cool. Yeah, we've been having fun too. We're making a whole city out of sand. Awesome! Yeah, awesome! Great job! Thanks. Want to help? Sure. I'll be the mayor leader person of the city. Oh, I mean, we can all work together to make Sand City the greatest city ever! Yay! Whee! Awesome! Let's do it! We may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air, together. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can